Irritable bowel diseases include Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, which are both autoimmune diseases. Most people start to present symptoms before the age of 30. In the context of stress, these two diseases may be set off by chronic stress. So Crohn's disease can affect any part of the GI tract, from mouth to anus. However, it most commonly affects the ileum, or the end of the small intestine that connects to the colon. It can also affect the GI tract in patches, leaving some parts unaffected. Crohn's inflammation also pervades through the entire thickness of the bowel tissue. So fissures are formed through the layers, and there's a cobblestone-like appearance on the inner lining. On the other hand, we have ulcerative colitis, which is usually limited to the colon and rectum. But over time, it can spread to the entire colon. UC inflammation only affects the innermost mucosa layer as the colon of the colon that touches the lumen causing ulceration. So as the lining of the intestine becomes inflamed and ulcerated, it loses its ability to adequately process food and waste or absorb water, which can result in loose stools. Many patients go through periods of remission and periods of active flare-ups, and symptoms include diarrhea, rectal bleeding, cramping, nausea, weight loss, malabsorption, and fatigue. The list goes on. The exact causes aren't known, but triggers for either disease can include the environment, genetic susceptibility, a predisposition to depression, food allergens, bacterial imbalance, and also infectious and viral agents. So the immune system becomes suppressed, essentially, and causes inflammation. And in a disease state, the immune system mistakes normal harmless bacteria as foreign, which is what exacerbates the immune response. Cortisol has also been shown to have a weakened effect, a weakening effect on the immune response. It can block essential T cells from proliferating as part of the defense mechanism. And this in inhibition can block the release of histamine, which is what upregulates the immune response. So cortisol interferes with this normal immune response and can make an individual suffering from chronic stress more vulnerable to infection. Now, stress causes changes in motility, secretion, intestinal permeability, sensitivity, and water and ion secretion in the gastrointestinal tract. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into the neuroimmune connection between the brain and the gut in IBD.